Yay! It's another book haul! So I went a bit crazy yesterday and bear and I went to Dimix. So Dimix is the Australian kind of Barnes and Noble but not as good because we have no bookstores left in Australia. They've all closed down. So I went to Dimix for book lovers and I'll show you what I got. So the first book that I got is the second book in the Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. So it's Crown of Midnight and I'm really excited because I want to start reading this series as soon as I finish my next book. So I've just got to get the Assassin's Blade I think or the Assassin's Curse but I really want to get the novella so I can start reading this series. So really excited about that. And the next book that I got was, yay, it's a hardcover. It's a hardcover. Like I looked everywhere and I was so happy that they had this in hardcover. And look how pretty. It opens up and there's like a little door. Wow. So this is by Patrick Ness. This is called More Than This. And this is about a boy that, um, dies and then comes back to life and it's about um, maybe his time shouldn't it wasn't up that's why he's come back to life I've heard really good reviews on Goodreads about this book so and I do like um, Patrick Ness so I'm really excited to get started on that and I'm just excited that it's hardcover so excited and the next book that I got is I've been wanting this for a while but just never picked it up it's The Truth About Alice, and this is by Jennifer Mathieu. Mathieu. And this cover's really pretty too. Nice and pretty. And this is about a girl named Alice, and she goes to a party with this guy named Brandon. And you don't know really what happens, because everybody's talking about what might have happened at the party. And Brandon actually dies in a car accident. This isn't a spoiler, it's on the back of the book and they all think that Alice has something to do with it or there's a reason there's some reason tangled in there um, with Alice that she's got to do with this car accident so I'm really looking forward to this um, it's got really good reviews on Goodreads and it's only really short too so it's a really short book so excited to start that one and the next book that I got is the first book in a series and it's a mermaid book. I love mermaid books. It's of Poison by Anna Banks. And I've heard really good things about this. Um, I love mermaids. I love like the little mermaid. I'm hoping this is like sort of like Ariel. But um, I've heard really good things about it. And it looks like there's a lot of kind of short, not thick paragraphs, but really excited to start that and I can't wait if it's really good I can't wait to start the series on Goodreads it's got really good um, it's like 4.3 stars out of 5 which is quite good um, looking forward to starting that and because of all you YouTubers I have never ever re read a graphic novel and I thought they look really cool and the illustrations look really pretty so I wasn't sure if they actually stocked them in the bookstores in Australia but I actually found two that I'm really excited about. And this one was on special. This is by Charlene Harris. It's and Christopher Golden, The Cemetery Girl. So this is on special. So it's about a girl that lives in a cemetery. And I'm pretty excited about that. I just fell in love with the pictures. Like the pictures were so cool, so pretty. So I'm so excited to start reading my first graphic novels. So looking forward to starting that and I've read his book this book when it was a children's book um, this is Neil Gaiman's the graveyard book so I've read just the normal paperback book and I saw this in the graphic novels and I was like oh my god what a fantastic first graphic novel it was fate it was fate so I'm really excited to start reading this and it's volume one so I'm hoping that it's a series look at the pictures beautiful beautiful pictures so 
So I'm super excited to start reading these. So I went a bit crazy, but hey, it's all right. It's educational, I suppose, because I'm reading. So I hope you enjoyed my book haul, because I enjoy shopping for them. Okay, bye.